We have a new Red Dead Online update this week, including a thank you gift from Rockstar, new permanent and limited time clothing additions, XP rewards, discounts on camp dogs, other in-game bonuses, and more. So let's get into this. I recorded a previous newswire because there wasn't much that was planned for today, but we did get a second one. And I said in that video, like if we did get a newswire, I would update it in a pinned comment. I figured that video is rendering right now and we got this second newswire. So I'm just gonna re-record the commentary here. So let's get into it. Rockstar said, as a part of a thank you to the entire community who have helped make Red Dead Online such a thriving world to wander and take on adventures in, pick up some special gifts just by playing this week. Newer players will receive both the Schofield Revolver and the Varmint Rifle free of charge, and everyone will receive the Devastating Ammo Bundle, which includes 100 Split Point Revolver Ammo, 100 High Velocity Pistol Ammo, 100 Express Repeater Ammo, 100 Slug Shotgun Ammo, and 20 Explosive Rifle Ammo. As we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. I think this weekly update for Red Dead Online, even still after the second news wire now, I think it's pretty bad. We're going to get into the details of it all, but any feedback from you is greatly appreciated. How do you guys feel about this week's new update? If you guys are new to the channel, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Red Dead Online and Red Dead Redemption 2. It would be greatly appreciated. Also, I want to let all you guys know I am live on Twitch.tv right now. So if you are watching this video, just like I used to do, we are back to the full day Tuesday live streams where we check out all the new content that came in the update update this week. So if you guys want to get a chance to play with me or even just hang out and take part in some conversation with everybody, you guys can check me out at twitch.tv slash hazardous HDTV. My link is also in the description down below. But anyways, let's start talking about the changes at hand in this week's Red Dead Online update. I think full transparency is owed here for anyone. And so we will get this out of the way immediately. No, there are no new fixes for camps, animals, the infinite black screens or load screens and players who redeem the bounty hunter role through Twitch Prime in game rewards may still have glitch progression, meaning you still cannot rank up months later. There is just flat out no title updates to fix bugs this week. Now in terms of gameplay content that was added and what was changed. The original Newswire that was dedicated to both GTA and Red Dead talked about Rockstar smashing records both for in-game players and as well as live views and engagements on social media. But what has changed this week is the following. The Wheeler, Ross & Company updates new clothing plus returning limited stock items. The new permanent additions this week include the Walden coat, the Barris or Barris vest, the Iniesta shirtwaist for females, the Hardy boots, the Oakley boots, and the Birdwell hat, and then limited time returning clothing this week is the raccoon hat that came out in the spring update, the Cossack hat, the Schaffer chaps, the Griffith chaps, the Morales vest, which I picked up a ton this week because I wasn't able to get it a couple weeks ago when it was added too, and the Pelt half chaps. Now in terms of bonuses and benefits, we have different club XP boosts, rank requirements lifted for select horses and coats, and much more. So if you earn bonus XP for your free Wheeler Ross & Company club membership and Outlaw Pass membership as you progress in any specialist role, and with each rank you progress, you'll get 1,000 bonus club XP rewards within 24 hours, allowing you to unlock free goods faster. Again, I'm pretty sure everyone, unless you are just starting the game right now, you have earned all of this stuff. You definitely should be max outlaw pass and max rolls and things like this. But if you have yet to embark on becoming a bounty hunter, this week is going to get going. Meet up with the legendary bounty hunter in Rhodes and purchase your license to get four rewards for 1,000 bounty hunter XP each. And completing a bounty mission by hauling in a target will also yield five bullets delivered to your camp lockbox and a reward for a free ability card of your choice. New bounty hunters can keep an eye on the benefits section to see those rewards come in. This is all benefiting new players. Thank you, Rockstar. You know, I'm so glad that you guys are breaking these records here. And since you did label this, literally the first three words were thank you gift. <laughs> so where's the gift for the players who have been hanging around dealing with this game since the end of November of 2018? I don't really see anything. But if you are looking to grow your stable of reliable steeds, all horses rank 40 and under, and coats rank 60 and under, have had their rank restrictions removed now through February 3rd. This week, you can also have some hard-earned cash with 25% off the price of all wagons, including the Bounty Hunter's Wagon and the Trader's Delivery and Hunting Wagons. There's also 25% discount on all camps, dogs, tents, and emotes. And again, at Twitch Prime members who've linked their Rockstar Social Club account get the collector's bag and the polished copper moonshine still for absolutely free. Visit Twitch Prime to sign up. I will remind you guys once again, Twitch Prime is included with Amazon Prime as well. You may need to make sure you go on twitch.tv and click the crown icon in the top right to redeem your in-game rewards. 
The bounty hunter thing Rockstar is promoting in this week's Newswire, if you guys aren't on a bounty hunter yet, be careful and be warned. If you do anything with bounty hunter with Twitch Prime, if you guys receive this at the beginning of Frontier Pursuits or even right now, your bounty hunter progression is going to be glitched. There are still people months later since Frontier Pursuits released in September who have still not been able to rank up their bounty hunter role. Also this week, we have a new featured free aim series, which is up in smoke and you can jump in solo or with friends. In terms of the specific bounty hunter rewards that we were talking about, it is called the bounty hunters kit and as long as you play between february 4th and february 10th you can get your free bounty hunter license 25 bolus which are very expensive as well as 25 tracking arrows which should help you complete your tracking arrow daily challenges whenever those come around rockstar also iterated on that first news wire that there is still so much more to come in 2020 and the world of red dead online will also continue to grow in 2020 as they expand on the concept of frontier pursuits with additional roles new missions and many more significant updates to come Rockstar also added a hyperlink to their interviews with various games publications like VG247, GamesRadar, and IGN detailing their plans to add a lawman role and honorable activities, outlaw role with dishonorable activities, as well as a photography role, which I still think could be that naturalist role that was leaked and we talked about on the channel earlier, and then eventually down the line, heist, which is what everyone's waiting for this week. And so I will re remind you guys again in this video, the expiration date for some of these offers that I'm about to talk about have expired, but these offers, benefits, and rewards are still listed in game and so I think they are still active because anything listed in game is technically still active so we have 30% discounts on all weapon barrel sites scopes and stock upgrades excluding metal engravings as well as discounts on all pamphlets from the fence to craft powerful ammo like fire arrows or medicines like special horse survivor and new players who reach rank 10 will receive an offer for 30% off a weapon of their choice if they crack rank 20 they will receive an offer for 30% off a special horse of their choice again at the time of me making this video there have been two news wires today for this game one was the thank you for GTA and Red Dead as a whole and now we have our Red Dead Newswire so I'm kind of rushing to get make sure I get everything that was changed here but is there anything in particular you guys really like there's lots of recycled limited stock clothing this week but there are also some new goodies in the catalog this week and the first time since we got more Moonshiner zip free clothing since January 7th and I think that's definitely a win for us definitely check out the returning limited time items still as well because there is no telling of when those will be back like I said the Morales vest I wanted to get because I didn't necessarily not that I didn't have the money to get it before but I just didn't get it so I missed the opportunity and now I bought every single one this week which is kind of funny but again we need to keep the pressure on Rockstar to fix their game I'm so happy that GTA Online and Red Dead Online have record-breaking player counts for Rockstar games for the, like ever in the history of both of the games Red Dead and GTA are getting more views than they ever have in the history of their games but so much needs to be fixed and I want Rockstar to keep breaking records in the future and because of that they need to fix their game so that they can continue this momentum so keep sending your feedback I'll include the link to that feedback link down in the description no title update yet this week so just the server side weekly update and anyways hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things red dead online and red dead redemption if you guys want to stay up to date with updates news information tips tricks and even leaks we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you guys also want to follow me over on twitch twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected with me outside of youtube i practically live on all three of those websites and you can feel free to strike up a conversation or even ask me a question whatever it may be you can follow me at hazardous hdtv and all of my social media links including my discord can be found in the description down below like i said i am live all day today on twitch.tv slash hazardous hdtv link down below playing red dead online with you guys with that said thank you all so much for watching i hope you all have a fantastic day and i will see you guys in the next red dead online video adios amigos